That's, that's, whoa, whoa. Please remember, this is my eighth gig. I work, I work on my act, for, I work on my act, I try to prepare it for a new crowd, and who's sitting in the front row? But the penis lady. <laughs> We're not on the show, don't talk. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, this is my problem. I can't even do the fucking thing. <laughs> Turn it, what? Look, this is how great a comedian I am. No, no, I'll hold it, I'll hold it, I'll hold it. I'll hold it, I'm learning as I go. Thank you very much. Men profiting off the labor of women. I just have to make sure it's always a turf crowd. No, 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 let's, 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 let's cut that short, let's cut that short. So, uh, how's your month been? I'll tell you one thing, Rosanna Lockwood won't be talking about nonsense with Peter Tatchell sitting next to her ever again. <laughs> what did I do? I still don't know what I've done wrong. Ba banned from the Edinburgh Festival and the Conservative Party Conference. If there were still DVDs, I'd be able to put on it. Too hot for the Edinburgh Fringe. And the Conservative Party Conference. Don't even laugh, Helen. <laughs> People would be like, oh, I only, oh, too hot for the Edinburgh Fringe. That must be pretty hot. And the Conservative Party Conference. Uh, so it's been a bit of an insane month, as you can imagine. Uh, people have been very worried about me. Very thank you, know, thank you to anyone who's been expressing concern. I am okay. I am okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you. That's, the, that's what a comedian wants, is, is people shouting out, we love you, you're okay. <laughs> Just make it another month. Tell us some jokes. <laughs> oh, God, jokes, I remember them. Uh, but, uh, like, I, I am, I'm taking care of myself. Um, I'm on a diet. Uh, my version of a diet is uh, I order the same pizza I order every time, except just before it arrives, I make the mental note, be gentle with this one. <laughs> Don't fuck the pizza. <laughs> there you go. All the goodwill just leaking out of the room as, as soon as I get onto my material. <laughs> like the Titanic hitting an iceberg. Uh, I go to the gym three times a week, bare minimum. Uh, I realized I had to go to the gym because uh, when you're under the kind of stress that I'm under, then uh, even the most mundane things feel like the opening moments of uh, casualty, you know? <laughs> it's not a good sign when you're standing up and uh, you feel like you're at a rave. <laughs> it's not a good thing to get out of breath while thinking about doing something. <sighs> oh, imagine if I did that. <sighs> I might have to look at my phone at some point, so I apologize. One of the things I kind of want to talk about a little bit tonight is, um, I got some good news and some bad news. Uh, the good news is I'm giving up comedy. No, 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 wait. I, I, let me explain the problem, right? If you were, the, the thing about comedy is I love it so much that um, I want to do it really well, you know? And to do it really well, you have to learn the craft. And for a stand-up comedian, that means going to clubs every night and doing it in front of different crowds, not just turfs who heard about it on... Uh, <laughs> You know, like doing it in front of people who actually hate you. That's kind of what you have to do, you know? 
And, and my problem is uh, a cappy arsed. <laughs> I'm 55 years old. And if I was, and basically at the moment I'm averaging a gig every two months. So if I want to get comfortable with this act, uh, I'll probably get there in my early 90s. <laughs> also, other comedians, they look at me and they, they don't accept me, I can tell. They don't, no, they don't, they don't. They're like, did you ever see a goat hanging around with puppies? <laughs> on TikTok? It's kind of like that. The dogs know something's wrong. If you keep hopping, we're not going to be able to smell your arse. You know, and, I, and you know, that Hollywood experience was, was even though it was uh, great, let's face it, uh, a bit of a victory. <laughs> and, and, I, and I'm delighted to, sorry? Good man, Oh, God bless you. Again, that's what I want, is sympathy cheers. I want people just to... <laughs> Thank you very much. No, I do appreciate it. Uh, where was I? What was I saying? Yeah, Hollywood. Even though it was a good, uh, it was a good experience overall, and it was a good propaganda thing, because uh, it kind of drew attention to how fucked comedy is at the moment. Yeah. It really did. If you can't get a gig at the Edinburgh Fringe... I read there were people saying, Graham Linehan is coming with his jokes. <laughs> yeah, Helen, we're not on the fucking show. <laughs> Graham Linehan is coming with his jokes, you know? Uh, and and things like, it just kind of made me think, you know what, this is insane. And I'm not really going to be able to learn the craft um, while I'm kind of uh, under this kind of bizarre pressure, you know? However, <laughs> however, I have good news. <laughs> and this is the perfect audience to announce it to. I've written a book. Anyone, anyone got an idea what the title might be? <laughs> you can't say, you know. No, I don't know. No, go on. Cancelled? No, not cancelled. Anyone else? Cunts. <laughs> you know what? There's still time to change it. No, no, do you know what I was going to call it for some time? I was going to call it, and Father Ted fans will recognise this one. I was going to call it, and now we move on to liars. No, it's, it's called Tough Crowd. And it's uh, about uh, Father Ted and the IT crowd and writing all of them, and then about what happened in the last five years and all the madness and... Uh, kind of explains my situation and uh, why I think the things that I do. So um, it's a little, little going to go down hopefully a little bit better than just shouting, uh, you know, groomer at people on Twitter. Because it's a tough, I, have, I do have a tough time. I went into um, town recently. And uh, I don't normally go into town because it's a bit of a fraught experience. When I say town, I mean Soho. Because I used to be in the media. I used to be in the media, and that's what I think of as town, you know? So I had to go in, and it wasn't until I was already in that I realised it was pride. Not, not just the month, which seems to be still going on, but the holy day of pride. When Santa leaves dildos under your sex harness. And the Son of God was born to something or other. <laughs> it was the actual day, and uh, it's very, very... It's a bit, it, like, I'm a heterosexual man, so uh, 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 mass demonstrations of, of joy, I, I don't like them in the... Anyway. <laughs> but pride is particularly dangerous for me. Well, I don't want to... I don't, and I apologise to any Jewish people here, but it is a little bit like crossing occupied France while Jewish. I just, keep, I just keep imagining being checked by someone. So you are today, what are you doing in town? <laughs> oh, you know, I'm just, just picking up some 
picking up some supplies, you know. <laughs> oh. You did not go to Pride? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Do you not like Pride? <laughs> no, no, I'm an ally, I'm an ally. Yeah, no. Why do you uh, why do you always smoke with the cigarette in between the middle finger and the finger on the left? Oh, I, d I don't know. I, I suppose I am a little bit clear. Since uh, since you enjoy Pride so much, why don't we sing the Pride song? Pride song? Yes, yes! You know, the song we all sing without the knowledge of the parents in school. Oh yes, yes, I'll begin it and you sing, you sing the end, yes? And if you do not sing the end, well, maybe you'll get off the train with me and we'll have a further chat. Okay, here we go, you ready? Yes, yes. LGBTQ Listen, I think that's it. I just want to say, God bless you for supporting me. I really appreciate it. You've been a real help these last few weeks, you know, and uh, I really, really feel it. So uh, I can go a bit longer until this book comes out and I start making money again. So thank you, and uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>